Today, I want to make a quick video on how to actually record a browser source in OBS. Now, this is just going to be a quick video because I actually have received some questions asking how to go about this. So, this will work whether you are in OBS on Windows or OBS on Mac. So what you want to do as soon as you set up your scenes, setting up scenes or as simple as just clicking the plus, you can name it whatever you want, then you come over here to sources, that's the next area. You want to click the plus sign right here. And then you want to go to browser source. Now we're going, you can name it whatever you want. Most people have like alerts for streaming and whatnot. We're just going to call this browser. Now here's where the website that you want in it. You click, you put the website, the home URL, HTTPS, you know, whatever it is, I recommend going into the address bar, copying it and pasting it here. And then as for width and height, really ideally what you want is going to be the width and height of your actual um, canvas. So, as you can see, my viewing is going to be 1920 by 1080. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080. And, as for these extra settings, let me put that there. I accidentally clicked off of there. As for the rest of the settings, if available, I do recommend saying control via OBS, audio via OBS. I feel like it's a lot easier, but alternatively, if you have a big soundboard or something, you might want to do something a bit different. But for most people, recording audio from OBS via OBS will be a good enough option. And then I also, if it's for alerts or something, I recommend shut down source when not visible. This may or may not be available if you're doing this via Mac. So definitely keep that in mind. It cut off a little bit there, but yeah, they do all of the options right here for you to view. And then as soon as you're satisfied, hit OK. And then as you can see, it resizes it there. And then you can hit Interact while hovering over it, while it's selected rather. You can hit Property, change it to a different website as you want. Or you can hit Interact. And Interact actually will pop up this little window here and it lets you interact with the website. Like say you need to make something full screen or whatnot. And that is how you add a browser source in OBS. Then after you're done with it and you don't need it anymore, you can just delete. Now keep in mind that it does not block ads. So if you are running OBS and you know that some ads playing or something, you might want to check your browser sources. I learned that the hard way because I had a browser source I completely forgot about and it turned out an ad was playing. So keep that in mind and yeah, hopefully this has helped you guys in some way, shape, or form. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.